I want to show you a way that you can use phrase to produce topic rich article briefs to get the most from GPT-3 uh, AI writers like Shortly AI. So here I am in Shortly. This is um, just going to be a, a sort of real quick example. Um, I want to show how you might sort of come to better article briefs uh, so that you can get more of what you want from these tools. For this example, I'm going to say that um, I want to create an article about ramen in uh, Tokyo, maybe. Or an article about ramen. Let's just say maybe I might start with something very simple. Uh, please write an article about um, ramen. Okay. Don't do this. It's way, way too simple. But you might actually be able to get something from it. Uh, Typically what you want to do is add a lot more detail into that. But how do you get and see it's it's not it did kind of get to a point where it started talking about something useful, but that's not what you want for your article. So how, what you try what you, what you need to try and do is get more detail into that article brief and sometimes maybe you know you're just at a loss or writer's block or whatever. You just you just can't quite figure out what you want to put there. And that's where something like phrase can come in to help you out. So I've already started a document in, in phrase for this. It's just ramen in Tokyo. That's the term that is being searched for. Uh, top results is just the content that I could study to learn more about this topic if I wanted to. In this case, I'm not going to study it. You should study the, your topics before you try and write about them. But in this case, I want to explain uh, something the topic score can help you with. And so now it's time to write a better article brief. Basically a way to get better context into shortly so that you can produce uh, better content or have the AI produce better content for you. So you might upgrade your uh, article brief that you started with maybe with something like please write a list of the best uh, ramen shops oops, in Tokyo. I need to learn how to type, don't I? Right, so okay. Um, we're getting a little bit of, of uh, hits, a few hits on the topical keywords. And now we can just take a look here. Okay, so please write the best. Okay, that's still not quite very focused, is it? It doesn't quite give us something that would really be helpful for the AI to take and write from. So let's look around. Let's see. We've got some words in here. Tokyo Station is a location. That might be good. Shinjuku is also uh, Michelin star restaurants. Uh, you know, Michelin it would be pretty good if you're looking for quality ramen shops. There's not that many uh, Michelin star ramen though. Um, so of course the big one, bowl of ramen, bowls of ramen, noodles, pork bones, that's uh, tonkotsu soup, and broth, you know, that kind of stuff. So basically just look through the list of topics and you can switch this up to um, long tail as well. So you can get a few ideas. Special show you ramen is a good one. Pork bone broth. And look at that. See, look, nice long keyword, longer tail keywords. So basically use this to get some ideas for what you should put into your article brief. So let's rewrite this as maybe uh, please write, let's just make this an article. Please write an article discussing the uh, best ramen. Let's use restaurants instead of shops. Uh, let's say, let's even say that the Japanese love maybe bowls of ramen. See, this should hit on some of the terms here now. Uh, I think it's this one. Oops. Yep, right there. So see, we're starting to hit on some of the terms. Uh, so bowls of ramen with rich miso flavor. I was going to say ramen there, but it kind of gets to the point where I'm using the word ramen a little bit too much, right? Chashu pork. Um, hot soup. These are all some of the keywords I'm trying to remember from the list. Uh, lots of pork fat. That's sayabara in Japanese, and it does make the ramen much better. Uh, thick, hearty noodles. Mm, 
in the let's start going into location Tokyo station area hmm. oh, let's just do off Tokyo Japan here now and we don't have to do everything in just one one long run on sentence either we can put a period here a period here and, and start a new one let's just say um, pork bone Mm -hmm. let's, let's even give it like the Japanese word for it, tonkotsu, uh, soup, uh, let's see, with a rich taste, also sounds good. And so we're just trying to give it some more information um, and maybe also discuss the special show, I think special show you was one of the things one of the keywords let's say ramen uh, options also show some options from let's just start putting some other locations in here like Shibuya Ginza or all right, let's do and Ikebukuro <clears throat> okay but you I'll stop here you, you kind of get the point right uh, just start clicking through the different types of topics and the special keywords and stuff that the phrase has gone out. And essentially these words are what phrase uh, has pulled from the top rankings for this term ramen in Tokyo. So they're the kind of terms that, you know, Google is expecting and probably there's already a decent amount of content out there in the world for it. So there might be some more, I, well, how would I say it? Training available for the AI to pull from. So this will help you create a strong article brief. You can just copy this now and head over into shortly and we can paste this in here. Okay, so here we're gonna just try and write something now and just see what happens. Just because it's a great article brief doesn't mean it's gonna automatically do something good, but look, it, it's, it's starting off on a pretty good uh, start here. And then I can just keep writing and keep writing and keep writing. At some point, though, you should really kind of jump in and start leading it. Yeah, okay. Shibuya is a popular place for people to gather in Tokyo. Yes, that's for sure. Uh, especially at the, the scramble, the crossroad that everybody likes to go to. Unique atmosphere that can't be found anywhere else. And we'll just say, like, and the ramen here is. Oops is and just let the AI finish. So what I'm doing here is I'm starting a thought and not finishing my thought, but I'm gonna let the AI finish it for me. And actually that's one of the strengths of GPT-3 is it's it's specifically trained to fill in words or missing words and to finish sentences. So when you get, get to the point where you feel like the AI is not producing something for you kind of in a sort of automated way, Jump in and, and do some part, you know, re write a little bit and give it a lead for it to pull from and to finish, continue a thought for you. And that's how you'll uh, get a, a better product at end result article out of it. So as you can see, it's doing a pretty decent job of creating an article now. I could go on and on and on here and just keep creating. I do want to say one more thing about this article brief. I've mentioned it in other articles as well or in other videos is that this can change at any time that you need it to. So if you're further down in your article, and, and also don't forget about the, the triple slash to cut off context, uh, watch our previous video that I'll link to in the show notes to make sure that you learn exactly what that means because understanding context is very key when using shortly. But this uh, article brief over here, if you get further down in your article and you're you're having a difficult time getting exactly what you want because you've never changed this article brief, you can change it. You know, if you're if you want it to be more specific about shio ramen, go over here and change up some of the things to be more about shio ramen. You know, whatever your article is about, you, you can update the article brief at any time to change up the context and to give the AI different and better clues for the situation that you're in in your article. Okay. That's the tip for this video. I hope that it helps you out a lot. If you like the content that I'm providing here with GPT-3 uh, AI writers and various other tools and how they can synergize and work together to create some really efficient content creation workflows, please subscribe, go to the website, join by email, whatever. Um, just please be a part of the community if you can. And I appreciate it. 
Until next time, take care.